Today we're going to be checking the gas pressure on a Pentair 400 BTU heater. And you can see right there we got a 250 on our gas meter. So that right there is going to tell me we got problems. We're going to remove all the wing nuts on one in each corner. There's four total. Remove those and then remove the top of the heater and set that aside. There's our gas valve. And we got to make sure the gas is off. Okay, now let's remove the inlet plug. It's a 3 16 Allen wrench. And we got a Klein manometer here. Got to zero it out and turn on the gas. We got a 6.9 inch water column right here. And this is what you would call the static pressure. Turn on the heater. And once the heater opens up and fires up, we have a 0.9. That is way below what we need, a minimum of four. Four to 14 is what we need. So here's our analog meter now. Let's run the analog meter on this. We've got a six inch water column there. And that's already too low for a static in, uh, water column. And we're coming down to again, less than one inch water column. And as you can see there, we need a four to 14 inch water column for this heater to run right. This heater being that low will run hot. It is no different than a car where you don't have enough gas going in, you're gonna be running lean. So this heater is gonna have problems. That's a nice little Allen wrench set right there. Okay, I contacted the homeowner and the homeowner is gonna get a free meter upgrade and they're gonna be doing that. But luckily this is a rental and nobody's been using it. 